sat in our cars waiting a few minutes for a train to pass, but can you imagine waiting more than an hour? People in Frankfurt say it happened this week, prompting a frustrated social media post from the city's police chief. Yeah, CBS 4's Eric Graves spent the day there to hear more about those frustrations and what police are calling a lack of accountability. Accountability has to be there. You just can't block all those intersections and not really care about it. Frankfurt Police Deputy Chief James Skinner is one of the many people frustrated about trains stalling as they pass through town. On Tuesday, one stalled for more than an hour. We had a lot of citizens that were concerned, they were frustrated, they were calling the police, they were calling the mayor's office. Skinner says the problem was even worse because recent construction has pushed more semis looking for alternate routes into Frankfurt. We were trying to help truck drivers who are coming through here that weren't familiar with the territory. Bill McCollum runs McCollum TV and Appliances right next to the train tracks on Jackson. He says the delay caused him to miss a shipment. Those are very important because some of that stuff we've waited months on. It's really inconvenient and kind of frustrating. For Skinner and the Frankfurt PD, the most frustrating part is there's nothing they can do about it. There's no laws on the books anymore for us to, to stop them from doing that. Skinner says they used to be able to issue citations to trains that stopped too long at street crossings, but the Indiana Supreme Court struck down that law, saying states are not allowed to create a law that governs railroads. Now Skinner says there's no accountability. Sometimes the railroad is not that quick on getting things repaired or moved because they know there's no consequence. The police department here in Frankfurt is now urging its citizens to call on their representatives in Washington to find a solution to the problem. Here in Frankfurt, I'm Eric Graves, CBS 4 News.